Welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott and today we're, I'm going to go through the four basic object types in Rhino. These object types are a point, a curve, surfaces, and meshes. So a point is just a one-dimensional point. It holds uh, the three, 3D coordinates, X, Y, and Z coordinates. I can go into the, my four views and put curves in, place them in any view. So they show uh, those three dimensions. They default to just putting them on the uh, on the contr uh, construction plane. But they're just placeholders. They don't render uh, and they just hold those coordinates so I can put a uh, polyline or I can create a surface from these points. So you can see that since these were in three dimensions that polyline came out into the Z dimension too. So that's pretty much it for points. I'll uh, delete that curve and I still have these points. I'll delete these points and now we'll go into curves. A line is qualified as a curve uh, in Rhino. They call it a curve or a Bezier curve also is called a curve the same thing. Even closed uh, curves too, like a circle is also a, a curve. These are very editable. use these a lot. And these can develop surfaces and poly surfaces pretty easily. So I can extrude this polyline. Just extrude curve. And here you go. I can extrude it a certain distance into the Z axis. I'll delete that, and you can do the same thing for a curved one. A uh, a closed surface can create a solid object with that same command. So extrude curve, and here I've extruded it into just that surface. If I delete it. I can select it again and extrude, but then this time say cap yes in the options on the command line, and it caps that closed surface into a full, poly, a solid poly surface. So that leads us into poly surfaces. A poly surface is nothing more than a bunch of surfaces creating a solid object. So here's a box, the basic box command, and it's a solid box. But Rhino uh, just thinks of it as uh, six surfaces together to uh, give the impression of a solid object. So I can use the explode command and these uh, surfaces that represent this box break apart. And I can put them back together and then join them and it, it'll go back to being a solid object. But there you have it for a box you can break away this solid toolbar and create any number of crazy uh, crazy solids and that's it for solids a mesh is something that's more like uh, Maya or a different animating program under the mesh menu you can go to met polygon, uh, polygon mesh primitives and we can do a uh, torus or a sphere. They have a lot, lots of them, but it looks just like this. For this, it a mesh just thinks of this object as a bunch of planes, uh, planes put together, and it's not as editable as a poly surface. It's it loses all the geometry when you con convert something to a mesh. You can. It's probably even better to view it as in with a flat shade on, and you can see that these this torus becomes just these uh, flat surfaces. And meshes are used more for exporting and importing. They aren't v too editable or useful uh, for um, straight modeling in Rhino, but we'll learn more about how to edit meshes and solids later. So I hope, hope you learned something and next up is polysurface editing.